Oh, what is going on? So, today we are going to be working on getting these on this. So, these things are pretty, pretty nice, not gonna lie. Uh, 10 spoke Denali's. I mean, they're not like, they're not super nice like those. They got peeling and stuff and whatnot, but overall, they're decent. And I got them for a decent price. So, all right, so I forgot to kind of like video the whole thing, but here's the five spoke, uh, spoke stars, whatever you want to call them. And here are the tenth spar. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm digging it at all, which is not good. If I thought I would, I really, I, I, at first I was like, no, these are not, I don't like them at all, but. And they started to grow on me, you know, sitting over there. I was like, yeah, those one look great. And now I'm sitting here looking at this thing and I do not think it looks great. And I think anybody that thought these would look good, like everybody that thinks they do, I think they just, I don't know. For some reason it's leaning pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, definitely not because we got like a thousand pounds, not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like these. Not sure at all, actually. I really, really don't. But I'm pull it out, get some picks, and then probably rip them off, cause yeah. Okay. All right, so now we got these. These are just 20 by 10s, I believe, with a 33 inch tire, 12 and a half wide. These things are pretty cooked, so no use. But I think I'm gonna get some 35s and uh, shove them on here, and then. Get them out and balance and flip them for quick buck probably because I ain't throwing 35s on that. No way. These are up for sale for 500 bucks. Super. It's a decent, you know, they're, they're not like brand new, but they're pretty, they're lightly used. They came on the truck when I got it. All trains, 500 bucks with rim. These I'm keeping for forever. These things are mint. They got like less than 2,000 miles on them. They're like brand new practically. No, no flaking, nothing. And then these, these are still, I'm up in the air about them. It's kind of growing on me, to be honest. Um, like, jeesh. Sheesh. I honestly don't know, to be honest. Still up in the air. But I think they're going to probably get lifted up. I'm going to clean them up some more. i got to clean the beads on the other ones. And probably this one, too, because it's still got a little, little leak right there. But probably clean them up, uh, deflate them, clean them up. If that doesn't work, then uh, let's go get them demounted and then clean them up with a wire reel. But clean them up and then probably flip, uh, flip them for about 1500 bucks. So 15 probably asking price. I'd take probably anything from, I don't know, a grand to 15 you know. I think anything under a grand is not worth even... Uh, you know, even bothering because I have I do have a use for them. I'm like those, like those, those can go dirt cheap. But like I'll probably list those once I get the 35s on them because the 35s are spanked, but they're usable. Um, these ones are dry, dry rod and stuff, weather crack, so that's why these are spanked. But uh, get the 35s on these, and then uh, those will probably go up for about a grand. I'm gonna clean these up some more. Um, not too bad though. Like I said, those are for 500. I just need just kind of one to hunt. And uh, these probably go up, like I said, clean them up a bit more and go up for about, add some price, 1500 bucks probably. So it does rub the, I noticed these, these are like 32s. They rub, right, I, gotta, I don't know why I didn't put a pin there, but they rub a little bit on there, but luckily not over there. So I can live with that. Let's see, it rubs a little. I can live with that. But I think she looks, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Mind you, I, again, I still don't. I have I've, I have the da double side tape to put the fender flare on, but it, I just got it the other, like yesterday, so that'll be going on once this rain stops, so I can put it on. But I think those five stars, I think they look just way better in my opinion. Um, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I like I said, I think these are growing on me, but I don't know. These are supposed to be like a winter set, beater set. I'm, not, I'm really not sure. Flip or keep? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think these look better? Or should I sell them and just 
keep the five stocks. Well, I'm running the five stocks, no matter what. Them things are pretty. Pretty, yes sir. Is the rubber right there too? No, barely. Yeah. It ain't new. We got the old 400. 400 is a workhorse now. Sheesh. Sheesh. Well, there we go. I loaded up. Uh, still leaking. So they're going to go to uh, probably one of my local shops. I think my buddy said like 100 bucks. You can get them uh, mounted and mounted and balanced. So I'll bring them to him, have them demounted, or bring them to my buddy, depending if I can get there or whatever. But my buddy lives about 45 minutes away, so it wouldn't be really free because that'd be pretty decent price in diesel, but um, probably just bring them to a local shop, get them demounted, and then I'm going to go around it with wire wheel or some some uh, heavy sandpaper, heavy grit, and then uh, while they're off, I'll go from there to the side if I want to get them stripped down and uh, polished. The only problem with that is it's not going to be cheap. Because I sure as heck ain't doing it. Uh, my buddy, one of my buddies said he could do it, but I don't know what he's charging. So I guess I'll go from there. But I'm sure it's not going to be, like I said, I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. So probably not going to do it because then you're cutting into the profit and cutting into the risk of making profit. So yeah, I'm not going to let you guys know how much I do have into them because a lot of you guys follow me and sure you know i've learned my from my mistakes uh just don't let out the price but anyway i get those probably this weekend maybe i'll drop them off and uh get them demounted and then uh, we can go from there but they are still pretty leaky and i i mean i'd it's gonna list them but i hate to uh i'd hate to list them and know that they leak even though it's not major, it's just the B because the stuff flakes and so it's just got it's not getting a good seal. But I'd hate to, you know, scam somebody like I got scammed pretty much because um, I was told they hold air, so no leaks. So I mean, it's my fault. I should check the tire pressure and should have went around because I think they didn't. Some of them, I think one of them holds air with no leaks. I think it's this one over here. I think this one is the only one, and uh, but I should should have tested them because they all of them I think all but one had like just just a tad to be able to read it, so they were pretty much empty. Which I don't know how I noticed I didn't notice because I was like pressing on them, they felt hard. I was like, yeah, but lesson learned. So you're gonna go buy tires, bring a tire pressure gauge, and. Uh, bring some soapy water or something. Luckily, these weren't too outrageous, so I'm not too too mad. But the guy seemed like a nice guy, so I don't know. Uh, I, got, I felt like you know, but I'm not saying it's his fault. I mean, maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they didn't leak. I don't know. I do know they've been sitting in the barn, so whatever. I don't care. Well, I do care, but they're fine. Send them down to the shop. Get them demounted clean up the, the bead and uh, shove them back on and we'll be good to go so yep five stars are back on love these things Sheesh. things are way better way better but, yeah I guess anybody want to buy a four wheeler <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one